And with me now on the program, the Assistant Minister to the Prime Minister, Alan Tudge. Alan Tudge, thanks for your time, your reaction to these latest raids in Sydney. Oh, good morning, Kieran. Yes, it's a, incredible developments what's occurred this morning, but I understand there's about 200 police who have been involved in that, and there's been very good cooperation between state and federal agencies, as there often is. Now, I have great confidence in the police forces, and they'll be undertaking these raids for very good reasons, and I hope that it leads to a ultimately a safer community. As you know, we've got significant challenges with, with radicalised young people in our community, particularly in Western Sydney, and um, there's no single answer to it, but all of us have to be engaged through our programs, through law enforcement, through the leadership of, of, uh, of the Muslim communities, and indeed from families themselves, um, looking out for the uh, uh, elements of radicalisation in their children. And uh, let's move on to areas of your responsibility now. And as Assistant Minister for Social Services and uh, the, the, this issue of the welfare card, I know that you're going to be trial, trialling this in various places like Sejuna uh, over coming months. But one area in the Kimberley, its local council voting against being a part of this particular trial. Is that a disappointment? Well, listen, I was disappointed with their resolution to vote against that, uh, the trial occurring there, but I know from my own consultations in Halls Creek that there are many community leaders in that town who do want to be part of the trial. Now, we'll be making a decision over the next two or three weeks as to the exact geographical scope of our trial in the East Kimberley and whether or not Halls Creek should be included in that. But I'll just make this point, and that is there's a reason why we've been in discussions with the Halls, Halls Creek leaders, and that is because they do have very significant welfare fueled alcohol abuse in that town, and our welfare card is specifically aimed at addressing that. And the one example I give is that this is a town of 1,570 people, and yet, yet last year there was 1,593 domestic assaults in that town, most of which is alcohol related. Now that's an extraordinary right. figure. And now we do need to be taking action in relation to that. We've put this card on the table to discuss with the community leaders and we'll continue those discussions and we'll be making a decision in the next few weeks. This um, Shire President Malcolm Edwards is quoted in the Australian this morning saying that you take away money and you still have the problems of people addicted to alcohol and drugs but not enough community health workers to deal with those problems. That's his concern that you might give indiv certain individuals cards but other relatives who might not be on those cards might be in his words quote humbugged for money by relatives. And that's exactly why we've designed this trial, whereby everybody who's on an income support payment will be issued with this card. And then 80% of all of their welfare payments will be placed into that card account. And that card will work like an ordinary debit card that you and I might have in our pocket. I, it'll work it at any store you can purchase whatever you like but it simply won't work at the bottle shop and won't work at the gambling houses and you won't be able to take cash from it now this idea of humbugging um, yes we've excluded aged pensioners from being included uh, in the trial but what we've said is that they can volunteer to be on the card should they choose to do so and i believe that in fact many people would want to do that to prevent being humbugged from others but by, by seeking to wish away these problems without having the appropriate health workers in place, doesn't he, doesn't uh, Mr Edwards make a valid point in that regard that you can't simply wish away the addiction of those people, that they're still going to be addicted, it doesn't ju just change at the issuing of one of these cards? Well, it's going to be a package here. So the card is important because it reduces the amount of money which is available for alcohol. Now, 20% of people's payments will still be available in cash, and we hope they don't spend it on alcohol, but they may well choose to do so. Um, but at the same time, there also will be in place um, additional support services, drug and alcohol counsellors. There'll be financial management okay. assistance. We're just about to announce a package in Sejuna, which exactly, uh, precisely goes to those elements to complement the issuing of the card. We're absolutely serious about getting on top of this welfare fueled alcohol abuse. It mm. destroys these communities. It is the poison in these communities, and we have to get on top of it. Alan Tudge, thanks for that. We'll, we'll stay in touch and uh, keep track of just how that trial is going across those particular uh, areas that you referred to, including Sejuna. We'll, we'll uh, stay in touch. Appreciate it. Thanks so much, Kieran. And that's all for Amy Jenner this morning. Thanks for your coming.